Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today, this morning, I am in East Finchley Cemetery in London. Um, and we've come to find the final resting place of Mel Appleby. Now, do you remember Mel Appleby? She was in the um, pop group of the 80s, Mel and Kim. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about them soon. Um, sadly, her life got cut short. But wow, look at this. There's a lot of these of uh, having work done on them recently. Keep to see lots of, uh, I'd love, I would love to go in there. But obviously they've got the fencing round for a reason. Damn it. Anyway, um, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. Thanks for coming. Uh, if you're a regular, thanks as always for sticking by me. Um, if you like today's video, of course, today. If you like today's video, of course, today. Yeah, something along those lines. Please go to thumb up if you haven't done so already. Hit the old uh, subscribe if you want to. It's free. People don't know that. Subscription is free. You don't have to pay for that. You just subscribe to the channel, which means that you hopefully like it. And uh, if you hit that notification bell, then that means you'll be notified when a new video goes up. Let's tell you a little bit more about um, the late great Mal, shall we? Mal Susan Appleby. Mal. 11th of July 1966 to the 18th of January 1990 was one half of the 90s English duo Mel and Kim. They had a number one hit in the UK singles chart in March 1987 with the song Respectable. Mel was born in Hackney, London to a Jamaican father and a British mother. She initially worked as a glamour model before joining her sister Kim Appleby to form Mel and Kim. The duo enjoyed considerable chart success in the late 1980s, achieving four UK top 10 hits, including the number one Respectable, 1987, while their debut album FLM, 1987, spent 25 weeks on the UK chart and was certified platinum in the UK. This is taken from Mel and Kim's website, The Story. Shockingly, just after Mel's career was taking off, the 18-year-old discovered that she had contracted cancer of the liver. Happily, she recovered quickly, but the operation ended her lucrative modeling career overnight. Mal was keen to leave this experience behind her and rather than dwell on the misfortune she began to pursue her dream to become a singer with a new sense of determination. Still convinced of Mal's talent her friend Alan focused his attention on helping her to break into the music industry and he introduced her to his friend record producer Steve Rowland. Mal was such a beautiful talented girl shared Rowland she was a sensational singer with a really great soulful voice. Mel had the looks, she had the personality, and she certainly had the vocal ability to become a really big star. Mel went into the recording studio with Steve and together they produced a four track demo tape with the plan of securing her a record deal. It was during these recording sessions that Steve, stunned by Mel's beauty and singing capabilities, jokingly asked if there were any others like her at home. Mel grabbed the opportunity to involve Kim in her imminent success. She said, yeah, my sister. She's better than me, she's a brilliant singer, and she's gorgeous. She's better looking than me. Laughing at the memory of this revelation, Roland added, I almost fell over. Kim later also recalled how Mal kicked off their career in music. I remember she called me at the factory and she went, Kim, I've just met this geezer, and he said that we can be pop stars. And I was like, yeah, right. Over the next four months, Steve recorded both girls and sent off the tape to Nick East's independent label, Supreme Records. I'll always remember it, said Kim. We sent off a tape, but nothing happened. So we went down there and it was the usual story, he's in a meeting. So we just started singing, dancing outside his office. We were showing him we had rhythm and voices to go with it. Needless to say, Nick East was suitably impressed with Kimmel, the girl's original group name, and they were signed. Nick recalled Mal and Kim were the real deal. I liked them the moment I met them. I remember Mal came in wearing a big leopard print coat and that she had an infectious smile and just a great personality. As soon as I met them, I knew they were great. I knew they had charisma and I figured the public would love them. Supreme was closely linked to the then fledgling production team of Stock Aitken and Waterman. And so they brought them on board to produce the sisters debut and the rest is history. Mal died in Westminster, London of pneumonia following treatment for metastatic paragonolemia on the 18th of January, 1990. She died at the age of 23 and is buried at East Finchley Cemetery. So there's all the information there on Mal. Um, Appleby. What a shame, you know, the girls had just made it, they had a number one, they were doing really, really well. And then, you know, due to health complications and cancer, 
wow, you know, her life is taken. This is such a shame. Anyway, we'll continue to look for her grave. This place has got so much history to it and it just looks amazing. Beautiful place. I think I found it. In loving memory of Melanie Appleby, who passed away on the 18th of January 1990, aged 23, always so thoughtful, loving and kind, out of sight, but never out of mind. Oh. Final resting place there, Melanie Appleby. So sorry that you got taken way too early, Melanie, but you, your music lives on. You know, everyone loves a bit of Mel and Kim, don't they, when you hear it. When you hear an 80s classic, and Respectable comes on the dance floor, you know, everyone's up and about. So your music is still going strong. People still dance to it in places. Bless you. Take care. Wow, age 23. That's just so sad, isn't it? You know, it's sad for anyone at age 23. But someone, no matter what career you're in, when you just start a career, she was obviously at the start of her um, singing career, you know, her music career, and doing really well out of it. But it doesn't matter if you're training to be a lawyer, doctor, if you're a carer, anyone, anyone that's at the start of the career at 23 that loses their life. It's just not, uh, not on, is it? Anyway, thank you as always for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Were you a Mel and Kim fan in the day? Did you like that stuff? Oh, I was, I thought they were brilliant. Um, leave your comments down below. If you like the video, give us one of them and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks as ever, forever. Thanks as ever for watching. See you all soon, take it easy.